Hello, good morning, Ria. Good morning, Pahi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Ria, what happened with you? Uh, Mom says the past two weeks, uh, we had some uh, medical and stuff in the family. So it looks like you haven't attended a whole lot of classes with you. Mom just two classes I haven't attended. So I haven't attended. Yeah, last three classes you won there. So have you figured out what we did? Yes, ma'am, I did ask. And were you able to do anything? Yes, ma'am, we tried. Uh, like the way I got time because I had my uh, midterm exams as well. So those were also in between. They just did. Yeah, I think you missed out on the sentence completion and para completion. Yes. Or rather, I think the whole of para completion and the first session of uh, the para jumble. Right. So today, anyway, we'll be continuing with par para jumble. And you please go through the um, strategies for para completion and try to do a few of the exercises. So you will know where, uh, whether you are clear with it or you need help. Okay. Yes, good morning, Sneha. Good morning, Karmanya. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So, any homework done? Anybody tried to do something? Yes, Karmanya, you are nodding your head. You have doubts? Session 14, I have done. Practice Session three 14. Four, yes. Okay. I had doubts, but then the answer key had explanation. So I got what I was going wrong. So what was it that was missing out on your uh, reasoning? You, we have to figure out what is missing out so that uh, similar questions when you come up with, you can uh, do them. So did you figure out what was going wrong? In two questions I did not get what the exactly what the paragraph meant. Okay. So therefore, like, so, did, so did you analyze the paragraph further? So yes. you're talking about session 14 exercise number? Practice exercise three and three. practice exercise four. Which questions? Any particular question? In practice exercise three, it was 13th one. Even sixth one, and then in practice exercise four, it was a second one, and eighth one. Do you still have doubts, or did you get no, them? I, I got them, got them. Okay, and I did great. not attempt 11 to 15. You can do them. You can do them later. As long as you understand what is going wrong, you will be learning further. So making mistakes is not a problem. Not learning from your mistakes is a problem. Right? Good job. Okay, Nishi, Sneha, Pahi, anyone did anything? Uh, no, ma'am, I had exams. Had exams, nothing done. Have you been uh, writing the classes? Anyone who has done the last week's class test? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes, Aditya. So, were you able to answer all the questions? No, ma'am. I got uh, five incorrect, and one I couldn't attempt. Okay, so you have to pick up on your speed a little, right? Or uh, was it the speed that was a problem, or was it the reasoning that was a problem? Yeah, speed was not a problem. I, I uh, watched up in some of the answers. Okay. So did you go through the explanations? Yes, ma'am. Actually, and, 
in some of the questions, the two options seemed very uh, close to each other. So it was very difficult to discern which is which. Yeah. And then now, can do you think you will be able to answer them? I think I am. I'm not confident. Okay, anyway, you what you do is you try doing the entire paper again. Okay. Yeah? And see if you can do a little better. Sure, ma'am. Yeah? And then after that, you go back to the questions you still got wrong and figure out why you got them wrong. Okay? Okay, so we'll get back to doing something. And okay, now the uh, we did a little bit of the parajumble last time. We'll continue with parajumble today also. Uh, anyone who has who still has a doubt on how to go about parajumble? Are he confident? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Sneha. Sneha, were you there last time? Yes, ma'am. You weren't there last time, right? Yes, ma'am. So you have missed out on the parajumble part. Okay, anyway, we'll do some more so you can figure out what to do. Uh, but uh, all of you who have missed out on the last class, please go through the uh, go through session 15 so you can get uh, you can figure out the strategies of doing the parajumbles, yeah? Mainly what we discussed was you have to go through the main idea, figure out what is the, um, what the paragraph is talking about, arrange the sentences in order so that it makes sense. Now, one trick is to figure out the, now uh, getting to the introductory sentence and the concluding sentence in the first go may be a little difficult. But you can always figure out which two sentences can go together. It may those two sentences may be in the middle, maybe at the end or in the beginning. But looking at the sentences, you can at least figure out the uh, mandatory pairs. Okay, so today you can open your books to session fifteen, exercise two. I don't think anybody has done that. Did anybody do exercise two? Some of yes, it? Yes, ma'am. So, Aditya, you did all of it or some of it? All the, ma'am, I've completed uh, exercise uh, one. Uh, exercise two also you've completed? Yes, okay, very good. So, what about the others? So, we'll do one thing. We'll do a few of the questions from exercise two just to get you back to... Uh, doing it and then we will move on to session 16. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is, this is practice exercise two. Uh, this is your now. Uh, Unlike the previous exercise, your options are given to you. So it becomes a little easy when the options are given to you. So at least if you find a mandatory pay, you will look for in the options for the mandatory pay. If the if that pay is not there, then you can figure out, okay, now we can eliminate the others, um, or the ones which doesn't have that pay. Or maybe you have figured out the introductory sentence so you look for the option which has that as the introductory sentence. Okay, so now if you look at question number one, uh, try to solve it before we get to the explanation. And Aditya, since you have already done it, I think you can give us the explanation once others have solved it. Okay, 
Hello, Prita. Prita Kothari, are you there? Prita, can you have your video on, please? I would request everyone to have their videos on so we can interact better. Yes, Prita. In the last session, uh, do you were you having a problem? In the last session? Yeah, last week. I was uh, I, I had attended off offline. You had attended offline with the offline class. Yeah, you were uh, but you were there online also. No. You weren't there, right? Okay. So I was a little confused whether you were on No, last, uh, one minute, last Saturday, no one was in class. You were also online, but you were not responding. That's why I was I wondering. I think me and Satvika was there. No, last Saturday, that is on the 6th, there was nobody in class. I was alone in class. I think you may have attended the math session. Yes, maybe, yes. You were online, but you were not responding. That's what I was wondering what happened. Okay, anyway, uh, so anyone who has come up with an answer? Uh, yes, Ria? Um, uh, Ria, your voice is breaking. I think you can put up your answer in the chat. Okay, you say your answer is A. Um, should there be a full stop in the first option, not a question mark? Yeah, it should be a full stop. I've got a full stop in my volume. I think it's a rhetorical question. Um, so you are gonna know some Indian devotee who are going to joy and prosperity. Yeah, actually, this is a sarcastic comment on the um, with regard to the context. Um, there could be a question mark actually. I mean, I could identify that C and D would come together. Okay, C and D will come together, you say. Right. So, uh, now, okay, now in all these, so according to Karmanya, what would be the answer? You have C and D coming together. You've eliminated C and you have eliminated. And A cannot be the A. opening sentence. So also D is eliminated. D is also eliminated. Okay. Now, if A and uh, if C, um, so C and D come together and we have uh, if C and D come together, then C and option C and option D are eliminated. Your introductory sentences? C. Either C or D, but most probably C. Yeah, because it talks about the bylaws of International Olympic Committee. So uh, then uh, uh, between B and A, what will come first? Now you have just two options, A and B left. Um, I think it should be B that should come first because it's uh, like mm -hmm. it ends with Afghan Olympic teams and then they ask the question about the same thing. Yeah. So if you look at A, that is more of a, um, of a concluding sentence not connected with the Olympic team. Yeah. Now C is an introductory sentence. It gives you what the bylaws are stating. D continues with expanding on that. Yeah. Now coming to B, it begins with yet and A begins with so. Now something with big, something that is beginning with yet could be connected to a previous point. 
So B is connected to, to D, right? Now A begins with so. So most probably it is concluding on something. So we have, uh, what do we have as the answer? We have C, D, B, A as the answer. Got it? Okay, now when we come to, now let's look at question number two. I send the option. Okay, you send me the option. Question 2A, you say. Okay. Let's see what others have. Anyone who's finished with 2 can go on to 3. Ma'am, I think it is option B. Option B. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, it cannot be option A, C, and D because a paragraph cannot start with it, right? You read the sentence carefully. What does it refer to? It says it is impossible. So, is it referring to something? No, no, no. I got it. Right? Ma'am, it can also be option A. It can also be option A. So, yeah, there's a little either, confusion. Yeah? Yeah, it's either B or A because C and D has to be eliminated because huh. the sequence would be always D, A, B and not A, B, D or D, B, A. So. Okay. So let's see other answers. Preeta, what's your answer? Uh, Ma'am, I think it should be op option D. Because uh, I also think it should, should, be, should, be, option should D. be in the beginning and A should be in the last because it is the um, conclusion, concluding sentence that he's the faceless man who is nowhere and everywhere. So, and um, because okay. A should be in the last, so it is only one option that A ha uh, that has A in the last. That is why. Okay, now you go back um, to the me. paragraph and read the entire thing in that sequence. You can read it aloud. Should I? Yes, please. It is impossible for the political leaders of a tame Western world that wages its wars by remote control to understand the power of the marginal man who has been deprived, striped of his rights, and driven back to the wall. This is a man uh, who has lost everything, his home, his family, his country, even his personal history. He live on bread and water, sleep on the streets, move from house to house. He is the faceless man who is nowhere and everywhere. Okay, so now if we look like, uh, read it like that, now we have to be sure that the points in every sentence connect to each other, right? So now C, we, be, we can begin with C, yeah? No problem in that, okay? Now when we come to, uh, now when we come to option, now, C we can begin with. It says the, we are talking about the power of the marginal man. Now, this is a man follows from here. We are talking about the marginal man has lost everything. Yeah. Lo now, you, what is the keyword here? Lost everything. His family, home, country, personal history. So, if he has lost everything, then what do we connect to lost everything? He is a faceless man. Right? Does that connect? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? So if he has lost everything, he is a faceless man. And then we can say he will live on bread, water, and sleep on the streets. Move from house to house. Right? Who is no who is nowhere and everywhere? So uh, D 
after D A comes better or B comes better? I still think that B comes better. Hmm? After D. So now we have C as one, uh, D as two. What will come third? B or A? I think D. Ma'am A. Ma'am A. Hmm? A. A sure. Say a will a connect B. better to D, right? It may seem as a concluding sentence, but when you read the context, A connects to D instead of B. Yeah. Now B can follow from A. He's a faceless man who is nowhere and everywhere. He will live on bread and water, sleep on the streets, move from house to house. That is explaining the nowhere and everywhere. Right? So in this case, we will not take A, though it may seem a concluding sentence, but if you analyze a little more, we have to connect the dots. Remember, we talked about connecting the dots. So what is connecting to lost everything? A is connecting. Now B explains that concept. So your correct answer in this case will be, what will your correct answer be in this one? A option. A will be the correct answer, right? These are a little confusing. Um, but then, yes, we have to deal with these. Okay, now you can do number three. Hmm? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't hear you. Your voice is breaking. Any problem? Is it the network problem or something else? Ma'am, is it clear now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Ma'am, I said option D for the third. Question. Option D, okay. So we'll just wait and see what the others have to say. Um, I think it's option D. Option D. Yeah. Why do you think it's option D? Uh, Ma'am, because uh, the pairing is the A and D and C and B. And if it says the first version, so it has to be like like A option has to come first because it says the first version. And uska pair is option D, so it has to come after it. So it's like A, D and C and B. A, D, C and B. Yeah. Okay. Now the first vision is cyclical. Um, it says no. cyclical and ma'am, even the D option, it says regeneration of the world. So cyclical and regeneration, that's why I connected both of them. Okay. Uh, so let's see if, the, if anybody else has a different answer. So uh, everyone thinks it should be D? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Sure. Karmanya. So if we read it as huh? D only. Okay, we read it as A D C B. The first vision is cyclical and millennial. It sees man originating from a divine source. A fall, exile, a final battle, regeneration of the world by divine savior and the foundation of kingdom on earth. So this is talking about the entire cycle. Okay. Now the second is linear. It originates from a greater anthropodial uh, apes climbing down through the tribal groups via Renaissance, early industrial age into the modern technological map. So that uh, gives a linear uh, progression. Yeah, the sequence is linear. So we can go with A, D, C, and then B. Okay. Okay, now number four.
Option C. Yes. Okay. So why do you think option C? So what are the things that you saw which uh, made you think it is C? Uh, Ma'am, the, the paragraph should start with an introduction which is majorly in B and D is type of a concluding sentence. So it has to be in the end. So option A and D can be eliminated. And uh, when I read C and B, I thought that B should be the, uh, the first sentence. So I kept B uh, uh, as the first sentence and B as the last. And then when I uh, read A and C, I found option C the best. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at uh, option number A, it has of his contention. So the person should have been introduced in the before this. A cannot be introduction. If you look at B, it is introducing the person and the book. So this will be number one. Then you go on to, then A will come as number two because it is describing his uh, contention or his theory. Then D begins with thus. So most probably it should be a concluding sentence. And C is explaining yes. the concept further. It comes in as three and D comes in as four. So that the logic behind it should be correct. Yeah. Okay, now you can do number five from here. Number number five, I think is something. Number five, what's your answer? Option C. C. Option C. C. Okay. So how about everybody else? Everyone thinks it should be C, or do you think it's something else? Hmm? Can you come up with a logic for your answer? You have to be a little faster. Now, if you look at um, yes, uh, yes? Uh, ma'am, since I said my uh, my correct answer is like that, yeah. so I think it's C, uh, mm -hmm. which is D, B, A, and then C. Mm -hmm. uh, so D is kind of an introductory sentence, which is telling us what the paragraph is about, about the hunting terms uh, analysis. So D can be the first uh, sentence. Yeah. And then, um, B tells us more about it, like the root cause and all. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, C seems like um, the last sentence, like the fourth sentence, and uh, A will fit perfectly the fourth C before the conclusion. That One minute. I... Your answer was PPAC, option C. Okay, yeah. Yes. So it is uh, first is it is introducing the concept. That is, what is the concept? It is talking about uh, some explanation for the surging antagonism, right? Now, when we are talking about simultaneously, this cannot follow the introduction, can it? It should be some point before this, and this is could be related to that point. Now, B talks about the root cause is. Now, uh, the root causes here, will it give you the, um, will it follow from the concept? It is talking about explains. So then the cause comes in. Then what follows would be, even when it is now, this is talking about migration. So A, what is A doing? It is giving you the explanation. Right? And then when you come to C, another point comes up, education and development. Right? So C would probably come last because it is giving us second point. So our answer will be C. 
Okay, now number six, um, I think I'll leave out for now. You can do it. We come to number seven. Now here oh, your six format. Three for six to one. Okay, six you already done. Yes, ma'am. Option, option B. B. Uh, yes, you are correct. It is option B. Okay. Uh, so now in the, okay, we'll do this, finish it off so that you don't forget to do it later. Okay, so everyone, uh, your Ria's got option D as the B as the answer. Sorry. Uh, so Ria, can you explain why you got option B as the answer? Yes, ma'am. Uh, firstly, uh, the D sentence is the introductory sentence. Though so it starts with it, it, hmm. it gives an idea about what the rest of the paragraph is like creating a mystery about what it's talking about. Yeah, so it is giving you a paradox about yes. though it is a um, is is successful, there is a dollar magnet. Yes, there is some money. something amiss. Now the next sentence yes. should explain, bring in what yes, is the problem. Next sentence, which is A, tells us hmm. exactly about yeah. what Then it continues with not too far. So the, the context is also there. And then it is talking about silence crowds killing the children. Then it right? talks about the problem, which is stated mm -hmm. in option C. And then uh, the effect of it, which is stated in uh, the sentence B, which right. gives us sequence B, A, C. So the uh, sentence C is talking about uh, so many children have died. And B talks about why they have died. Yeah? Succumbs to illness. So everyone got the sequence? Ria, okay. I had a question. Yes, Karmanya. No, I am it's to Ria. Okay. Has she done these questions previously? I mean, how come it's possible? I did not even read the whole question and you are giving answers. So, Karman, yeah. The moment ma'am said to solve the second practice exercise, I had my book open and I just started solving them. So, when you were doing your question second, I had already done. I was always the question okay, because of which I gave the answers earlier. Perfect. Thank you. So, Karman, yeah, no problem. You'll also get to that speed with a little more practice. Right? So, uh, I think Ria is doing a good job. She is... Mama, I'll text you the answer from next time. Okay, fine. <laughs> I think it's a little confusing or antagonizing for them with somebody doing it so fast. Of course, it's like even if uh, I thought of it, uh, I told you all, okay, we'll do it later. And Ria was also already there with the answer. So, good job. Uh, so, Karmanya, I think you have the answer and the explanation also by now. No problem. No. Okay. Now you can move on to the next one. Number seven. Now in number seven, your first sentence is given to you, so you don't have to search for the uh, introduction. Ma'am, uh, ma can yes. you do it this way? You give us 10 minutes. We do as many questions as we can, and then we discuss. Because it's getting really confusing this way. Okay. We'll just do this exercise. Next exercise onwards, I will time you. I'll give you uh, 10 minutes for 10 questions and we will see how many you are able to do. Yeah. So this is just a revision of your strategy for this one. And next exercise, I have already planned to time. You. So here, I just wanted to make sure that everyone has their explanations in the proper place.
Okay, you've got the answer D. Let's, we'll see if it is correct. We'll wait till somebody yeah, else. This time. Yes, Karmanya. That was good. So, what's your answer, Karmanya? Option D. Option D. Okay. I mean, I think it's D. You also think it's D. Anybody else with D? Yes, Prita, you also think it's D? Sneha? Yes, mom. What's your answer? Yes, Sneha, what's your answer to number seven? Mom, D. D. Okay, great. So I think everyone has got the reasoning also correct. It begins with Egypt facing an economic crisis. Then it uh, we can go on to um, uh, now. Next, we can go on to S. Now, it's talking about a crisis. We have to figure out how it can survive, right? So only means of increasing foreign trade, uh, by, by means of increasing foreign trade, it could survive. So then we have to figure out what relates to the foreign trade. The foreign trade depends on cultivation of cotton on a large scale. Now, what do we have to do to uh, make that happen, boost cotton crops. Okay? Now, if you look at P, it is cotton is the chief export commodity of Egypt. So this is what is the result of all this. So obviously, D will be your answer, S-Q-R-P, right? Okay, now uh, question numbers eight to 10 over here, you will be doing on your own, yeah? So is this, uh, is the para jumble becoming a little easier for everybody or is it still yes. as difficult? It's becoming a little easier. So now you know with practice that, okay, we can, you have the logic behind an answer and you can answer it better. Okay, so Ria's already done it, very good. So anyway, Ria, you can check your answers from the back. And we will move on to the next exercise. Just a second, I'll just open the file. Okay, now you can move on to session 16. I mean, it's volume two. Yeah, sorry, it is in volume two. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Anyway, we have the PDF in front of us. You can actually uh, answer from the PDF itself. So that will be uh, why I'm saying that is that when you are answering from your books, you have the option of marking, but in the exam, you will not have the option of marking. So it will always be, uh, uh, do all of you have the PDFs or you just have the printed volume? No, I only have the you only have the printed volume. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll ask um, Sujit ma'am to share the PDF also. Uh, so you, all of you can practice with the PDF. So it is on the screen and you can look at the screen and figure out your answers. And that will give you a little bit more practice. Okay, now coming to this one. Um, your instructions are here. Again, you don't have the, you just have the, here you have five options instead of four. Yeah, you may have questions with four options. You may have questions with five options given to you or five sentences, sorry. Options are still four, 
but you have five sentences to arrange. So instructions are there. Questions consider of five statements when in logical, uh, logically ordered form or current coherent passage. Choose the option. Could you tell the page number, please? Uh, it is a volume two, page number one. You have found your volume two? Yes, Yes, anyone with the answer? Does it look a little confusing? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Okay, so for what do you do first? You have to figure out what is the paragraph talking about? Which sentence tells you what is the paragraph talking about? Ma'am, are we not doing this by the method that we like just talked about the time based thing? Yeah, we will do that. I just want you to get started. Okay. Yeah. So, Ma'am, I think uh, it should be either B or um, D or A. A or B. Or B. Okay, read, read. now you you take the both the orders and read them in I that it order. Be B. Who says it should be B? Uh, Pritha. Pritha. Okay, you read it in that order and see if it fits in. Ma'am, we'll change note for Ma'am, I think it's option A. Option A. Yeah. Okay. So, does everyone think it's option A? Or some, uh, you're I still with think, B? I don't think it's option A because uh, it, in E, it is written mm -hmm. that it was created by Random Magazine. And in C, again, it comes. But whenever we have like uh, two consecutive sentences with E, we merge that. So I think it is a little incorrect. That is why I think it should be B. Ma'am, I think mm -hmm. I have, like when I read this question for like the first time, I went to the options first. So it's like uh, the B option says the go, the uh, like it's B first in the B option. So it's the third golden kela was whatever it is. And then it comes A. Like it could be B, the starting sentence could be B, but after it, it cannot be A because uh, the Indian version Raji is never re uh, like does not really relate with the A option, like con coming consecutively. So I eliminated option B. And then in simpler terms, it is a connecting sentence. And so it could cannot be option C because it says A as the opening sentence. And in simpler terms, can never be like the opening 
like right. in a sentence in simpler terms something should have been yeah. said before yeah. yeah yeah that is a eliminated c as well and then in option d it says uh like option c is first coming first so it was created in order so what was created in order so that's why it even cannot be option d and that's yeah. why it has to be a it has to be a. now if you look at this what is we need an introduction so the golden killer awards is the entire paragraph is talking about that but we need one sentence which introduces it yeah so d is the golden killer is held each year where awards are given for the year's worst in bollywood right now that is introducing the golden killer awards now when you go to a uh, it is a worst in bollywood and then so it is giving us the reference to what it is in simple terms it is india's version of razzies right that done now what could be the next one it was created by random magazine it was created what was created the golden kela or maybe the rajis yeah or in in fact it would be the golden kela now then we come to the specifics like um, uh, why was it created right number c and then this year it is being held by cyrus brocha comes last okay okay so now everyone gear up I will time you. We'll do five questions at a time for this exercise, and then we will go to, on to doing uh, ten questions at a time for the next one. So, question number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That makes five. I'm um, six. Six till six. Yeah. So, questions two to six. I give you five minutes. Okay, so let's see in five minutes whether you are able to do it or not. So I'll put on the timer till the time you do it.
Okay. All right. That was a good. Is this all done? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Go through your answers and see if they are all okay. So everyone else has got just a little less than a minute left. And they are all correct. Okay. We'll just wait for the others so we can discuss your answers. So everyone should have been done. Okay, everyone can just stop. We'll see how much you have been able to do. Yeah. Okay, so Pahi, how many were you able to do? Mom, except four, I did all. Uh, so you've done four questions or five questions? Except fourth one, I did hmm. all. You did all, okay. So, fourth one, uh, you tried, you didn't get to the answer? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, Naudia has already finished. Yes, Nishi, how about you? How many were you able to do? Yes, Nishi, are you there? Uh, can you ha all have your videos on so that I know yes, you are interrupting? Yes, I was for a second. I, I did hmm. almost all of them, just left with one. You, you are left with one? Yeah. Okay. Karmanya, where are you? Yes, Karmanya, how many were you able to do? You left the fourth one, the rest you've done. Yeah? So the fourth one was complicated or was it too long to read? No, it was too long to read, so I okay. thought that I should yeah. leave it. Okay, good. Aditya? I'm I finished the exercise. You finished the exercise, Matlab? I didn't know that to do only five, so... Okay. So how many did you do in ten in five minutes? I did. Huh? All of them. All of them in five minutes? Are you sure? You read through all of them and did them in five minutes. That's a record breaking speed. Okay, so now we'll get to the answers and see if our reasonings are correct, right? Okay, question number two, who will give me the answer and the reasoning? Anyone volunteers to give me the reasoning? Uh, Ma'am, I can. Okay, yes, Nishi. Ma'am, it is option A according to me. Mm -hmm. um, so, first of all, I eliminated option B uh, because it, it the first sentence according to B should be option C. And C is additionally. So, there has to be something before additionally. Before additionally, right. So, we have to eliminate this off. Uh, now, coming to option C, it has uh, D. While the budget, mm -hmm. this could be an option. But then it says, despite the stronger performance, uh, and again it says additionally in the third sentence. And I think it is it should it cannot be additionally after sentence A because it doesn't really matches what sentence A says and what sentence C. Says. If you see, A begins with despite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, it is not introducing a concept. 
मैम बट इट डजेंट मैच ना लाइक व्हाट असेंडेंस ए सेस अबाउट इन्फ्लेशन एंड ऑल एंड गो एंड द ऑप्शन सी सेस अबाउट गवर्नमेंट सो इट हैज नो मैच आई थॉट दैट वे बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दैट दे आर नॉट गोइंग टुगेदर दैट इज व्हाई एलिमिनेटेड ऑप्शन सी एज वेल एंड अगेन ऑप्शन डी सेस डिस्पाइट एज द फर्स्ट वर्ड सो एलिमिनेट डी या सो एलिमिनेट डी So we are only left with option A. I was pretty confused between A and C, but then I figured it out. It has to be A. Okay. Now, if you uh, look at option C, it begins with D. Now, D says the D begins with while the budget sets a lower minimal gross domestic product. Then it goes on to we believe that the GDP growth of the target nine percent. factor in the budget is on the optimistic side now this could rather does this now if you look at the other sentences can this come as an introductory sentence no ma no right why because if you look at the others now a begins with despite a strong performance uh, c begins with additionally that is something should be there before it if you come to e the budget has made an attempt to address all these issues what are the all these issues that should come before right so now we come to the conclusion that we have to first figure out what are the issues right so if you talk about b does b give you the issues yes right b gives you the issues so b will b can come first now after b if we look at what can follow from b what is talking about the issues additionally and then c talks about more yeah now c talks about more issues there is an expectation that the government would restart the reform process so after these two what are we looking at these are the issues now we come to the budget the budget addresses these issues and then we have to go on to how the budget addresses these issues so despite strong performance uh, the uh, the was clouded by stubborn and persistent high inflation and rising external risk and then uh, the, what is the budget doing about it right so a will be the correct answer here okay now coming to number 3 you also will go by the process of elimination if you go by the process of elimination it becomes a little easier right so you don't have to really read everything analyze on your own we can just about pick the correct option okay so aditya can you explain number 3 yeah sure ma'am uh, i think it option d option d okay yeah. why do you think it's option d so if you look at all the sentences uh, like all the four options out of the four it has to start with d compulsorily because if you read the all five options mm -hmm. only statement d makes sense to begin with mm -hmm. as per following after so the option left are c and d now mm -hmm. in option c the second statement is a mm -hmm. so uh, the principal pudding uh, the pudding seems to have two principal forerunners this can't be followed by a because these were mainly bulwark so what were mainly bulwark yeah so first you have to explain <coughs> the first the mm. so the you have to explain uh, it what are these has to come after something has already been explained after so the yeah. only option remaining becomes d yeah. so after you block d and b Okay. So even if you don't read all of them in detail, you still get to your answer, right? So I think you are getting to the strategy. Okay, now coming to number four. I think many of you left number four. No, no, I don't. Okay, you did the fourth one, Miss uh, Ria. Can you explain? Um, uh, ma'am. I took option D, which was D, E, A, C, and B. So out okay. of all the sentences, D gives uh, the introduction, 
and t has to be the first sentence. So if t has to be the first sentence, we have to eliminate option A and B. Mm -hmm. And after that, in C, it is given that option A should be the second sentence, mm -hmm. uh, whereas it talks about the associate members. But mm -hmm. first, E gives, uh, E tells us that what uh, is about the associate member. So after E, E should be the second sentence, followed by A, and mm -hmm. then C, and then V should be the like, in Okay, yeah. So, uh, so now, if you look at the reasoning behind this, uh, as we as Ria said, D introduces so these decision. It is talking about a certain decision to restrict the number of teams. Yeah. Now, if you look at E, it is that associate members are too thrilled about the idea of being kept out. Yeah. So E. Uh, D, E will be a pair, right? Then if D, E is a pair, your only option is option D. Even if you don't read the others, now if you even do read the others, in a bid, bid to placate associate members, I see a desire to increase the number of participating teams. Now this will come later. Placate the associate members would mean to pacify them. Right, it has decided to do something more. Now it is convenient just now to forget that in the last edition of the tournament, considering the criticism was heaped, uh, etc. Now that will surely not come in the beginning. To be fair to ICC, criticism of the move to restrict the number of teams in the edition of the cup. In the case of the dam, you do dam if you don't. So this is like uh, saying that we don't really care what you are thinking, right? So D, E, and then we come to what the ICC has done to placate the members, then the members are not really concerned with what is happening. And then we can go on to the others. So our answer will be D. So now Karmanya and all the others who thought that this was a difficult one, you will realize that once you have figured out what could be the uh, introductory sentence and what can come after that, you are actually left with only one option. You can easily eliminate the others and move on to the next question. Right? So when you are faced with um, uh, an, uh, options, or the sentences which are very long and you think that it's going to take too long to read, at least look at the options and say, okay, which one could be the first sentence? What can connect to it after that? So even if you find two, uh, even if you find a mandatory pair, you can eliminate the other options, okay? Okay, now coming to question number five, will give me this one. I want the explanation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want Ria to explain again. Somebody else will volunteer. Come on. Yes, Karmanya, do you want to explain? Okay, go ahead. So, first of all, what's your answer? Option C. Option C. Okay. I have only one reason for it. Mm -hmm. The mandatory pair is CD. Mandatory pair is CD. Right. And your introductory sentence is A. Right. That so when you have your introductory much. sentence A, then B and D are eliminated. Yeah. And CD is only there in option C. Absolutely. Okay. Now coming to question number six. Anyone? Who wants to explain? Pritha? Yes, Pritha, can you explain your no, answer to number six? It. I'm still on it. You're still on it? What were you doing all this time? It was, I stuck on the fourth one that I actually lost it all the time. 
okay if you are stuck on the fourth one you should adopt the strategy of what the uh, of uh, karmanya and the others move on to the others get back to the one you are stuck on don't get stuck on one question and not do the others you will be losing out on all of them and not get the answer to the one you are stuck on right whenever you think that you are stuck on something leave it be move on come back to it okay okay now anybody else who wants to explain number 6 yes riya mama i think you got oh, sorry you think Uh, Ma'am, in sixth one, uh, I just figured out that the uh, that the first sentence should be A, uh, paired with C, mm -hmm. and hence I got the answer. Okay, your first sentence is A, a famous Japanese rock garden. Uh, then uh, it is paired with you said paired with C. The garden is so many meters long, and then it goes on to describe the garden. Yeah, there are no trees. Hmm. Irregularly shaped rocks. Right, and there's a only option A. It has it in that one. Very good. Okay, so now uh, question numbers seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. Okay, question number seven to eleven. Yes. Oh, you want to do all of them till fifteen? No, I did the seventh one. You did the seventh one. Good. Okay, now uh, till question fifteen, all of them. How many do we have? You have nine questions. Nine questions. Okay, I'll give you say nine minutes. Fair enough. Yes, ma'am.
Now we're done. Was that Priya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Not yes. done all, but I have a doubt. Right. Okay, you can go back to the question where you have a doubt and see if you can solve it now. Am I solved? I just okay, think it is right, but I'm not sure. Okay, we'll come to it. I think everyone should have finished by now. Your time is up. Let's show you, it doesn't matter if you haven't finished, we'll just see how much we have been able to do. Right? So, Aditya, how many have you been able to do? Or you had already done them before? Which is the name I'm talking about? So while we are just doing exercise three, I think you finished them. Yeah, I finished it. Okay, you finished it. So Karmanya, how many were you able to do now? All of them? No, I'm still left with two. You're left with two. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, Prita, how many were you able to do? Um, till eleven. Until 11. Okay. So, you still left with what it will be going to keep on. Okay. Uh, Pahi, how many did you do? Mom, 12. Till 12. Okay. Nishi? I did till 13th. Okay, not bad. We, as long as we get them correct, uh, how many you did, we'll come in after that. Okay, so we can begin with Karmanya. So Karmanya, can you explain your question number? Maybe we, we began with question number? Nine, I think. Seven. 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 Okay, yeah, this is question so number if we seven. See the options. If we just find out the uh, introductory sentence, we could come up with the answer. Yeah. So, so now, your introductory sentences? All the sentences. Option D because it tells about the origin. Hmm. That's the start of the Zen Buddhism. Right. And your so only option D. with D is D. So even if you don't put the others in order, you still have your answer. Great. Okay, question number eight, Pahi. You've done that. Okay, so what's your answer and what's your explanation behind it? Uh, question number eight. Hmm. I was talking about the post election crisis. So the first sentence it describes, uh, like, 
it says that it remains unresolved. That's the opening sentence A. Yeah. So now all of them begin with A. So that makes your task a little difficult, right? Yes. Okay. So now you go on. And then uh, this uh, B sentence states that the damage being done to the country's economy is severe. Tourism, mm -hmm. horticulture, and other industries that depend on trades uh, beyond the Kenya border are reeling. Mm -hmm. So this talks about the damage it caused. So it goes with, yeah. So A, B go together. So yes. now you can eliminate A and C, yes, right? Yes. Okay, so now with two options remaining, what did you, what was your answer? What, what then, happened after that? Then after that, the D sentence would go that thousands of livelihoods along with the investments throughout the region are treated and uh, threatened and collapsed. Hmm. Okay, so, so you come up with your answer as D. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, if you, uh, but to cross check, you have to see whether you've got your concluding sentence in place. Now, if you look at option B, C is the concluding, C is, comes in the middle and D has a concluding sentence as C. So we go back to C and see whether, where it should come in. Many countries responded providing essential humanitarian assistance for this I and many other Kenyans who are very grateful. So that could be a concluding sentence. It won't come in the middle. So now you confirm, you are confirmed that D is your option. Very good. Okay, now question number nine. Who's got nine? Dia, you're waiting to answer? Mama, yeah, so what's your answer to nine? Ma'am, uh, I did uh, option D, which is E, B, A, B, and C. Okay. Uh, because the uh, introductory sentence, I consider it to be E because it hmm. starts with the video industry and uh, it gives the introduction about what uh, hmm. the other sentences are talking about. Then hmm. D gives more additional information to what D is talking. So I made D and D a pair. Okay. okay, so now you begin with D, it talks about operating on thin margins. Then we go on to some related to this, what can be related, have been grappling with more mundane problems, right? So D and E make a pair, E, e comes first, D after that. So. ED, we have only one option with ED as in the beginning. Okay, now on question number 10. Who will give me 10? Quick, Aditya, can you give me the answer to question number 10 and its explanation? Uh, I think it's ma'am A, B, C, D, E. Okay, why do you think it is A, B, C, D, E? And we have to look for the opening sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your opening sentence was A. Yeah. yeah. And okay. uh, so your only option was B. Now, are you confirmed that the opening sentence is A? Yeah, because uh, the statement B, it mm -hmm. ends with then. So it has, there has to be a now somewhere or a current period. Yeah. So it, it introduces what you were doing. You were invited to present a paper on the topic where the mysteries of the 20th century were repeated in the 21st century. Now, uh, now the B says economic crisis hadn't become grave. Yeah. Then C begins with but today, the key difference. So none of them are really the opening sentence. A is the only opening sentence and B is the only answer in that case. So even if you don't have, uh, go into the other uh, option, other sentences and try to order them, you still get your answer. Okay, question number 11. Yes, Preetha, I think you've got question number 11 by now. 
Rita, are you there? Rita Kotari? Yes, Prita, can you please respond and give me the explanation for question number 11? Prita, can you hear me? Prita, if you can't respond, then I'm afraid we'll have to remove you from the class. Uh, after this. So please make sure you do respond. Okay. So I think we'll get back to Karmanya. Karmanya, what do you think of question number 11? So first of all, the mandatory pair is B and E. Mandatory pair is B and E. B and E. Okay, yes. what comes first? B comes first or E comes first? B comes first because e it tells comes the reason. First. Like in option E, there is mm -hmm. however due to this reason. The okay. reason is option yeah. B. Right. This reason and the reason is in option B. So B and E, uh, so it will be B E. So what has B E? C has B E. Yeah, anyone else has B E? coming together? No. So obviously C is your answer. But still you would look at uh, the introductory and the concluding sentence. Yes. So no, your no, introductory no, is about the popularity of cricket popularity, yeah. in India. Okay. <clears throat> Now, coming to number 12, we'll do this quick. Are the short sentences here? Okay, who will give me number 12? Pahi? Yes, Pahi, question number 12 with your explanation. Yes, ma'am. So what did you choose as your option? And give me one reason why. Now C should be the opening sentence. Okay. The monsoon pale and water tanks became almost empty. So that eliminates option C and D. So now uh, between A and B, what was your answer? Option B. Option B. Yes. Okay. Now, why do you think D, uh, it should be C, D? Because uh, the C talks about the monsoon field. Yes. Yeah. So, and then it talks about it outcomes that no gain could be shown by the farmers in their field. So C and D anyway make a mandatory pair. Yeah? yeah. And A begins with C, but you don't have C and D as a mandatory pair. Yeah. Okay, question number 13. Nisha, do you want Nishi, do you want to explain? Oh, Mama, I can. Okay, please go on. Uh, Mama, according to me, the, uh, the answer is the A option, that is CDAEB. Okay. CDAEB, that is option A. Yeah. So, and explanation? Yeah. So, first of all, uh, uh, we need to find the, the like, uh, we need to eliminate options. So, first of all, I eliminated option D because, uh, because it starts with sentence E. And E sentence yeah. start like, but no one... So no paragraph starts with the yeah. that way. So I eliminated option D first, mm -hmm. and uh, then I was left with three options that is C, D, uh, A, B, and C. Uh, and so uh, in 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 the B option it says uh, that A is the first one, and then comes C, D, and uh, B and E. So as a result, and but that goes in the last two sentences and the option that cannot be because it doesn't suit uh, like coming after each other 
and so I eliminate. So uh, you think B doesn't come after D? No, I think B doesn't come before E. B and B e. doesn't come before E. Yeah, B and E do not go together. Yeah. Like one after other. It has to be E and B. E, it should be E, B and C, D. So yeah, you got your mandatory place. Yeah. Right. Okay, question number 14. Karmanya? Um, EA is the mandatory pair. EA is the mandatory pair. So what comes first? A comes first or E comes first? E comes first. E comes first. Okay. Because A talks the about terrified day, villagers so abandoned the terrified. their homes. Yeah. They is the villagers. So and then you look D for the, the option. Sentence. And D is the opening sentence. The rain fell steadily for several days. So your uh, only option would be Starting with D and E A as an hmm. in between. Right. So, that would be so you, you will be going with option C. Yes. Okay, now we are left with question number 15. Who's going to give me question number 15? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I chose option B, which is C A B D E. Uh, yeah. where Ma'am, uh, I eliminated option A because E cannot be the uh, introductory sentence. It's a recession, then, however, so yes. it can't be introductory. Yes, ma'am. After that, uh, option C and D have A as the uh, introductory sentence. Where it talks, these are men, but it is not given which men or men. So option C and D are also eliminated. Yeah. Whereas in option B, Sentence C first talk about a certain uh, a certain people and then so if you so okay option B is the first okay yes Karmanya you wanted to um, say something I have a different answer um yeah actually I'm not convinced with any of the options you're not convinced with any of the options because okay. I think it should start with C but the mandatory pair is A and D. Mandatory pairs A and D. Okay. Ma'am, but I think it should be option A because E should come first because it's, it talks about the topic that is to, to be talked in the paragraph. Mm -hmm. And that's the only sentence that talks about the topic to be that is to be discussed in the paragraph. Hmm. Even I think it's A. Even of, option C tells that the current market econ economy. Why not? Nay, that? but it should be recession coming in now, the paragraph. And only Okay, so what is the entire paragraph actually talking about? Uh, it talks about the economic recession in the economies. Hmm. So okay, let's look at all the sentences one by one. Mamo, yeah, also, even I was a little confused with this. Yeah. So and also it's like A and D has to come together, and hmm. A and D only comes together in option A again. So let's see, uh, like where does E go and where does B go? Yeah, that is, we, we are a little confused with that. Now uh, coming to, now A says, these are men who have always viewed money as a solvent. Yeah, then we have for them, it's something that dilutes the essence of social transactions. Again, we have for them. Who are the them? Who are we talking men. about? The men. The men. Talked about yeah. These men for them. So uh, now if we look at B, uh, they need to replace this currency with love and other such tangible gifts as fast leading to what is called a highly moral alternate economy. Now B can't come into no, we don't have any option with B as the introductory sentence. Ma'am, it, so, it has to be the conclusory sentence. It, it, it needs to guessing. be something like conclusion. It is yeah. not concerned with the other thing. It's introducing a new concept. Right? Now coming to C, the current market economy where every relationship involves a monetary barter makes them uncomfortable. Yeah. Now, if we look at this paragraph, probably it is picked up from the middle of a bigger paragraph. So it's a little confusing about what it is to actually talking about and what 
it means to go on to say. So if we look at the um, options, now uh, first we will try to bring out, bring in the mandatory pairs. So what goes together? Now we know that B will come in last. Yeah, that we have decided. Now B comes in last in A, but is A the correct order? Ma'am, if I may point out, the feeling that is talked about in this statement E, it is first referred to in the statement C. Okay. Now the current market economy where every relationship involves a monetary barter makes them uncomfortable. Now the men, now if we see all, uh, all these sentences are talking about them, these men, etc. So we don't really have an introduction to the men, but we have an introduction to the current economy maybe, perhaps, right? So if we say C is the first sentence, what will come after C? E. Ma'am, if C comes, it has to be E after it because there is no other option that suits best after that. Right. Yeah. So, Lord, none of the four. Now, the current market economy where relationship involves a barter makes them uncomfortable. Recession, however, has nothing to do with this feeling. So, this feeling should be introduced somewhere. So, is this the feeling making them uncomfortable? Does C come after E, but we don't have any options. So maybe the options themselves are a little confusing. Yeah, and then after E, you can go back to A. After A, you can go back to D and conclude with B. So it will be C, E, A, D, B. It would be C, E. Then these men have always viewed money as a solvent. Okay. I mean, this sentence, in this question, I went, <coughs> sorry, I went that way that A and D has to be together. So it's like the A is the only option that has them together. So maybe. You know. E coming in the middle. A, these men have always used money as a solvent. Money as a solvent can be followed by, it is, it's something that dilutes the essence of social transactions. Okay, we don't have any such option. Uh, if we begin with C, we have only one option. Uh, if we begin with A, E, it doesn't really make sense. A anyway can't come. Now, uh, we uh, anyway, we will be eliminating C and D because it begins with A, which definitely is not our introductory sentence, right? So now we are left with A and B. And definitely, we, definitely E doesn't seem to be an introductory sentence. Hmm? Rather C makes a better introductory sentence. So I think C now, but there are no options here. And I'm pretty much sure the options would be wrong. And C cannot be followed with A. Uh, the current market economy, but uh, these men have always viewed money as a solvent. And ma'am, it's also like if A and B come together, uh, or A, D, and then it has to be B because it also talks about their needs and there is again men here. I think... Um, C, E, A, D, B should be the correct option. But since there is no option as such over here, uh, we would mark this question as wrong. And if such a thing appears, now, okay, I will uh, probably get this corrected so that we can do it in a better way. Uh, but if you are faced with such a situation in the exam, where you know this is the correct answer and none of the other options are seem to be correct, what you will do is you will leave the question. 
right? And you can. Now, another thing in the exam you can do is, after the exam, they give a time period to challenge a particular question. So you can challenge the question in that particular period, right? If you think the answer options are wrong and your answer is correct, this is a type of question where you can go in to challenge the question and question that they have given you, okay? So yes, in this case, none of the options given are correct. We will stick to C, E, A, B, D, right? And in the scenario of exam, uh, where you are appearing for an exam, you will not answer the question, but you will challenge the particular question. If you challenge the question and if your challenge uh, seems to be correct, you will always get the points for that particular question. Okay, now, okay, so far, now are you comfortable with these type of questions? Yes, Karmanya? Yeah, now you know you can solve these questions in less time? Yes. Hmm? You've got the strategy? Look for the mandatory pairs. Look for the options in which those mandatory pairs exist. Eliminate other options. Then look for the introduction and conclusion. See your answer. Right? You don't have to actually go through all the options and start reading everything from A to Z. Okay? Okay, so now we open up exercise number four. Right? Um, can we take a five minutes break? Oh, sorry. I forgot to give you a break, right? So involved. Okay. You can take a five minutes break. Sorry. It's already 1.15. I didn't realize.
Okay, so anyone wants to get back to work? Yeah, no one? Okay, so can we begin with the next exercise? Yeah, so here you have practice exercise four. Now what you will do is how many questions? We have ten questions here. So we'll do one thing. We'll break it break it up into two parts. Question number one to five, five minutes. Okay. Yes, we are. Question number one to five, five minutes. Uh, exercise four. Now in these questions, the introductory and concluding sentences are already given to you. You just have to figure out the sequence of the rest of the sentences. I think that makes the task a little easier. So when the introductory and concluding sentences are given to you, all you have to do is figure out the mandatory pairs. Yeah, and get to your answer.
Okay, are you done? That was five minutes. Yes, anybody ready with your answers? Aditya, you finished all five? I started from the last question, tried it for test. Okay. We started with the last one. Okay. So, how many left? I'm just one of the first questions. Are you done? So just a few seconds. Okay, so question number one. Aditya, can you give me the answer and explanation? Yes, ma'am. I think it should be uh, just a minute, ma'am. Uh, I think it should be option B, TBCA. Option B, okay. So here your introduction and conclusion are given. Yeah. So According to you, D should come first. Yeah. yeah. It says now they are pointing to evidence. Who are pointing to evidence? The human rights advocates, right? Now uh, they are pointing to evidence. The next sentence to, should be linked to the evidence. Now what gives you the evidence? B gives you the evidence. So D, B is a mandatory pay, A, C, E. Uh, eliminated. Now coming to the rest of it, whether it's going to be C, A or A, C. Right? Now after B, what can come? The decree has most recently uh, been wielded to force tribal leaders to reveal the whereabouts. Roughly half of the youths held are from families de deemed uncooperative in the uh, fight. So what uh, would be better, the D, uh, C, A or A, C? Um, if you look at of, uh, the statement uh, B, so mm -hmm. the statement A, mm -hmm. roughly half of the youths. So this statement corroborates with the sixth point. Sixth that point, is. yeah. So, so A, A goes with C, uh, uh, number, with the conclusion six. So A cannot come after B, right? So our only option left is B. Okay, so Leah, can you give me number two? Question number two. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, the second question, I mark C as the correct answer. C as the correct answer. Uh, okay. The sentence that they have given is a smaller uh, mobile case that most countries can be seen in Australia. And then right. it starts giving us uh, like more details about the South Korean thing. And after which, uh, A gives about the, uh, about the next year and then the telecom and other companies. Special so, multi digit uh, multimedia broadcasting phones. And then, and then it comes the, up with the particular phones. And then B adds like the. So beginning with C, beginning with C A, we have just two options: eliminate yes. A, B, and D. Yes. Right? And, and then, B. Uh, B seems to be more correct after uh, A, and then D. Because here, uh, no, the concluding sentence is the biggest problem, though. Yeah. So there should be a smaller problem uh, before that. So this is your some smaller problem before that. No, not this. B uh, gives a smaller problem. Okay, now number three. Nishi, can you give me number three? 
And I didn't do number three. I was very unsure about it. I didn't want it. Uh, you were unsure, so you at least tried to do it? <laughs> Ma'am, I did, but I cannot understand anything in that sense. Like, paragraph. Okay. But so, ma'am, I can guess. Okay. So, what was your guess? Uh, ma'am, it has, uh, like, I understood that D has to be the starting sentence okay. in this. So, it has to be either B, D, C. And I also know that C has to be the concluding sentence. Mm -hmm. And so, it has to be either B or D. But I'm very unsure about the pairs being A, B or B. Okay. So, you have eliminated A and C. Yeah, no. Okay. So now can you analyze between uh, B and D? Like now D is your uh, first sentence. Yeah? yeah. So D says, it's a tale of uh, Katra. Uh, now it's quite long over here. Takes time to read. Now you can just think of you are, uh, you are sure that C will be now both of them begin with D and end with C. Yeah. Now, what can come before C? Can B come before C or A come before C? Ma'am, A, A can come before C, but it's like, uh, how can B be after D? Because it starts with and. So, I'm very, mm -hmm. that's why I was confused in this. Uh, uh, you mark option B as correct. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay, now Aditya, what's your answer? And according to me, after the statement D, D is the obvious one because if you look at option A and D, the pair has to start with B and end with A because the books, um, yeah. omission, the omissions are being referred to in statement A. He blames mm -hmm. everyone but himself. So, okay. him, you know, blaming himself is mentioned in statement B. So, the order should be D, B. And then AC. Because you have to focus on the word omissions here. Hmm. So if you are focusing on the word omissions, I think the book's omissions are its most revealing element. Right? Now looking at the options, It begins with, although Maradona recounts his life with neither explanation for his actions, save his love for football, nor fluid penmanship, his story is gripping. Right? Now, uh, after this, it should be a little more about the book. Hmm? So what gives you a little more about the book, Ria? Now, uh, I was thought that C should be the concluding sentence, and the irony should be followed by the tales for D, B, and U, D as the uh, as the mandatory pair. And since C has to be the concluding sentence, I thought that should be. So, according to you, the option will be option, option D. Option D. No, no, option D. Option D. D. Okay. And Aditya, your answer is option A. D. D. Okay. Your answer is also option D. Okay. Now let's look at it a little more. Uh, now, whether it's now your mandatory pay is what? B and A. B and A. So, in what order? A, B or B, A? No, B. B, A. Because the omission, then it expands the idea. Okay. Now, what does C go with? Hmm? Now, A tells us how uh, that man is and then C tells C says, in passing the buck, El Diego reveals who he really is, a man accountable to no one. Where does this fit in? Uh, 
after statement day because maradona is uh, cursing everybody but he is not holding himself responsible so that can be said that he is passing the buck so can we say a comes after c or c comes after a comes c comes after a so where will b go then from b will go after a and c will come after a uh oh, sorry i didn't get you aditya the order will be d first then followed mm -hmm. by b then followed by a and lastly concluding with c okay so we have d first yeah now if you say d first it gives you what the tale is about yeah then uh, after that you say what will come b now d b will come idea. together right b says i want to tell the book submissions are its most revealing element then maradona blames everyone that could be hmm yes ma'am or in passing the buck he reveals what what will come first a comes first yes, and then comes, comes b first followed by c no b b already had followed by c yeah so it is d b a c we get d as the answer right okay so um, we'll just get to the question number 4 and 5 answers and then the rest you can do for homework we'll just take 2 minutes yeah so question number 4 who will explain dear yes after uh, the first uh, for the first question number 4 uh, question number 4 uh, question b as the correct answer mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, first it is talking about a place next time to try to something like that and mm -hmm. option b gives the order a b b and b b and b are the language there because b is asking the question and b yeah. is uh, giving the answer for that question so b is giving the answer okay yes now and the concluding mm -hmm. sentence which they have given otherwise uh you would be ignorant you would be unable to pull on short has to come after b after so b b and b should come in the last okay. and a and uh, a and c are the mandatory pair which uh, like first a is telling that the journalists are leaving uh, and then uh, the suffering mm -hmm. the that is no longer uh, the news and then we, is, we uh, work a, far a, from, from the headlines right Yes, you are correct. A, C, B, and B. Okay, Nishi, can you explain number five quickly? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, the answer is option C. Uh, and because um, I figured out that D has to be the starting sentence because it is it asks the question what the whole other three sentences explain, and uh, then I figured out that C has to be the concluding sentence because it concludes that uh, like uh, there are other ways as well. So it has to be C being the concluding sentence, and then uh, it should be option B after D because uh, uh, like it should be B and then A because B uh, B asks a question and A explains that sentence. You know, exaggerated. Uh, B says tourism and entertainment are both possibilities. It yeah. may seem surprising, but they are large number of people. So yes. Explanation of a, a, a sentence no. B, so it has to right. be. So everyone agrees that it should be C. Yes, sir. Aditya, do you agree with C as the answer for question number five? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. So C is the answer. So now you have got a hold on the para jumbles. Hmm. you can do them first now now what you will do is you will practice so that you can finish a question in less than a minute yeah till now i have been giving you 1 minute for each question now say you take up 6 uh, uh, to 10 five questions in 4 uh, minutes or less yeah similarly you will be practicing the next uh, exercise so you have exercise number 5 after this again you will be say if you have 10 questions now don't do all 10 questions at a time 
do five questions at a time because in the exam you will not get more than five questions for parajambles. Yeah. So take up five questions, try to complete them in less than four minutes. Okay. So that's it for today. Um, any doubts on these anymore? Yeah. Okay then. So we'll meet again next Saturday. Until that time, you will have completed this. And we can then move on to a new topic. And hope you are uh, working on vocabulary also. Yes? Are you, are you working on your vocabulary or vocabulary has been forgotten? No, no. Yes, Sia, I, your voice was breaking a little. And I said it's not been forgotten. It's been forgotten? Okay. Okay, so thank you very much. We'll meet on Saturday. I'm, yes, you, Aditya. I suggest a book which contains uh, like a list of all complex words because with every exam that I write, I find that there are 10 new words that I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you'll always come, with, come up with new words with all of so is there like a sort of guide for people like me to Mom, in volume one there are many words to be in yeah in volume one there are many words and if you search on the net you will get uh say uh, you go with uh, uh, vocabulary for cat yeah so if you go with vocabulary for cat you will get lots of new words you'll get a hundred words list many hundred words list so take up one hundred words list and then just keep on adding words to that. So you pick up a word, uh, look for the synonyms, look for the antonyms, make an extended list up out of it. Okay. okay. So that's the only way that you can expand your list. There is no perfect solution to this. You can have 10 books, but still you can come up with words that you haven't come across. Right? So it's just a matter of relating words. So when you look for synonyms, you will be able to relate to other words. Okay. And I'll try to give you some, some more list of words, maybe. I'll put together some more list of words and share with you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, Rekha, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Bye. Bye.